Last week I did a video about me taking ice baths and how I prepared with ice to make it really cold. I also showed you how I took baths or take baths with plus 1 or 32 degrees Fahrenheit cold water. I also take morning showers in that. But what are the real benefits to doing this and what, are, what is my experience to taking these baths? Well, many say that you turn your ordinary yellow subcutaneous fat into brown fat, which protects you more from the cold weather and icy waters. And while that is true, and I do not care much about the cold weather, weather since I stand out in minus 10 degrees or below zero Fahrenheit, I, um, I have noticed that I do not burn much fat just because I cool down and create brown fat. That's not at all any particular great thing that I've noticed about me and my body. Uh, still, it's consumption of calories and training that made the hugest impact on my daily routines and how I burn fat. So, for me, that doesn't sort of give any more value rather than I, I take cold better than I did before. One other aspect of me taking cold showers is that I started to noticing not getting as sick as usual. So. I do see an effect in me not becoming ill, but the caveat to this is that I've been supplementing with vitamin D. And as we now know from my other video about vitamin D, vitamin D is basically your immune system. If you have vitamin D in your blood, then that protects you, makes your other immune system effective so that you survive from sickness being too low in that and you become sick so there's two aspects of this it can either be the vitamin d and at the time when i started i had about 90 degrees which you can see 90 nanomoles per liter in my blood of vitamin d which also decreased the months after that down in march to i think it was 83 nanomoles per liter it, that level was below 100, which is not very good. Still, I managed to stay healthy and I didn't get sick and I could work. A third benefit would be that I was, became more creative through the dopamine. The dopamine from the ice cold water gives you a longer kick. Dopamine usually sort of peaks according to human labs. And if you take a cold, ice cold bath, you sort of prolong that for several hours. And yes, that is an effect I've noticed with myself. I can produce more even though I'm still very, very old. Um, that energy I had when I was very much younger with this. But that is one positive effect of it. Fourthly, first time you do it, I panicked. I hyperventilated in the ice cold bath, but already the second time that was all gone. So if you're wondering if it's really hard to take ice cold baths, well, yes, the first time it is for about two minutes. And if you endure it, the next time will be, let's say, 20% as hard as it was the first time. And after that, I didn't really notice any major disadvantage of taking ice cold baths. I could endure them much, much easier. Even though I don't have a cold plunge bath, which circulates the water, um, I do feel a quite a nice feeling after a minute or two because the water around my skin heats up and that's quite comfortable even though my body temperature goes down because as you could have seen in the video i was quite red and i'm really really cold in the body and another thing i've noticed is that my inflammation in the body really goes down after an ice cold bath but currently i'm having some sort of infection 
and I'm experiencing a lot more muscle aches in my muscles and in my joints for some odd reason. It has been February, so there might be a virus circling around, but even though I've been taking ice cold baths, it hasn't done anything to my inflammation in the body. I'm still aching very much, so it doesn't really do much when it comes to that. Uh, most likely due to a virus or infection that I'm having in, currently in my body. So we, I need to say it honestly that it does, it does matter when you do cold baths and if you're sick or not, I would argue. Now, we can't know for sure that's the case with me right now, but still, I want to, to uh, sort of put it out there so that you yourself can decide and measure towards yourself when you're doing your cold plunges, if it has some relevance or not. I'm just trying to stay as honest as possible. So that's my takeaway from my ice cold baths and showers every morning. And well, I hope if you try it, you'll find the same thing or that you find this information helpful for you doing ice cold baths yourself. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.